Welcome to the Daily News. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. Let's begin with a few news headlines. Only hours after local law enforcement officials and school superintendent Frank Rodriguez stressed that they were going to keep our kids safe in schools, a Bluffton man was arrested while attending his son's eighth grade graduation at McCracken Middle School. 56-year-old George Gialamas suffered a medical emergency during the ceremony and while he was being treated by EMTs at the school, police found that he was carrying a small pistol for which he did not have the proper permits. So he's okay, but has turned himself into law enforcement and has been charged with carrying a weapon onto school property. And if convicted of that felony, he could face up to five years in prison and a thousand dollar fine. Well, there are all sorts of festivals to kick off the summer season. The most popular probably is the 36th original Gullah Festival at Chambers Waterfront Park that could attract up to 20,000 people over the weekend beginning today with storytelling, plenty of music and dancing and Gullah craft displays and workshops. And you can find out more at originalgullahfestival.org and the Hilton Heads Art Market is tomorrow all day at Shelter Cove and the Coral Society Patriotic Concert is Sunday at First Presbyterian Church and the Freedom 5K is Monday at Port Royal Plantation. Jessa Jeremiah will be here with more details in just a few minutes. In all the gun talk this week, there's this that might be something for us to think about here in the Low Country. The CDC, who keeps track of such things, says guns are now the top cause of deaths for youngsters under the age of 20, surpassing car wreck deaths in 2021 for the very first time. And South Carolina has the fourth highest rate of young deaths among the 50 states with only Louisiana, Alaska, and Mississippi worse off than us. And the firearm arm rate is, a death rate, is four times worse for black children than white ones nationwide. So, how are our politicians reacting to the school shooting tragedy in Texas? Well, Democratic State Representative Wendell Gilliard of Charleston is going to try again to get the legislature to pass a bill that would put metal detectors in every South Carolina school. U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham spent yesterday in meetings with other senators trying to find some kind of gun legislation, likely red flag laws or enhanced background checks that could get through the Senate. Most of us have moved on from COVID-19, but the virus has not yet moved on from the United States. The case count this past week is up 24 percent and hospitalizations are up over 50 percent. Only three more coronavirus deaths were reported statewide over the last week, but that does bring the total close to 18,000 South Carolinians who have lost their lives to the virus. Our full vaccination rate is stuck at about 55%, and the CDC is still recommending you test yourself before taking a summer trip, and you should still wear a mask on public transportation. For more information on these stories and many more, please check out the media sources listed on your screen. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at WHHITV. And make sure to visit our website at WHHITV.com. And now let's toss it over to Maria for an update on the weather. Thanks, Robin. All right, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So it looks like Saturday is going to be sunny all day in all three regions. Hillnet's going to have a high of 85 and low of 72. Bluffton's going to have a high of 88 and a low of 70. And Beaufort's going to have a high of 89 and a low of 70. On Sunday, it's going to be sunny in the morning with a slight chance of thunder showers in the afternoon in all three regions. Hillnet's going to have a high of 84, low of 73. Bluffton's going to have a high of 89 and a low of 71. And Beaufort's going to have a high of 90 and a low of 71. The sunrise for this weekend is going to be at 619 and sunset is going to be at 822. Taking a look at the beach tides, Saturday low tide is going to be at 337 p.m. and high tide is going to be at 901 p.m. And then on Sunday, low tide is going to be at 421 p.m. and high tide is going to be at 938 p.m. Take a look into next week. Monday Memorial Day is going to be mostly sunny and then there's a small chance of thunder showers in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 80s, lows in the 70s. On Tuesday, there's a slight chance of thunder showers all day with a high of 80s and a low of 70s. And then on Wednesday, there's a slight chance of showers which will turn into thunder showers in the afternoon with highs in the 80s and lows in the 70s. That's it for today. Let's head it back to the desk. Thank you, Maria. Coming up after the break, Rob Jacobs will join us. He is with the Fellowship for Christian Athletes. He'll tell us what's going on with summer camps. Stay with us. <music> 